welcome to Creative Ramblings. This is Friday night and it is episode two of A Craft and a Cocktail. And in this series, what I do is I share a cocktail and a craft with a theme. And who doesn't love a good theme, right? So tonight's theme is copper. And we are using copper, just pulling it up on the computer next to me here. Um, we're using copper as a theme because one, it's beautiful and you can make all kinds of crafts with it. But my one of my favorite drinks comes in a copper mug. So tonight I am going to show you how to make a Moscow Mule in a copper mug. And we are going to turn this thrift store frame into a serving tray with a copper theme. So I am going to pull this up here and then we are going to get started. So if you're watching live, say hey, let me know where you're watching from, um, and we can chat. Get started in just a moment. All right. So a Moscow Mule. Uh, it has a really cool history to this drink, but I'm going to show you how to make it first, and then we can go talk. So you need three ingredients for a Moscow Mule, and that is vodka, any kind, and ginger beer, and then some fresh limes. And you put this together, it makes a delicious drink. So this ginger beer is actually something new that I picked up at Aldi this week. And I wasn't actually expecting to find ginger beer there. And I got there and there it was at a fabulous Aldi price. And I tasted it and it's really good. It's not super sweet. And a Moscow Mule tends to have a little bit of a zing to it anyway. Uh, so if you want to make it sweeter, you can get a sweet ginger beer. But I really like this because it's not super sweet. So we want to start with two ounces, about, of vodka. And the full recipe for this drink is down below. And then you want to do about a half an ounce of lime juice. And I like a little extra lime in mine. So I'm going to do the juice of maybe one and a half limes in here. And you can do just regular lime juice in a bottle. Like I have a bottle of lime juice upstairs in my fridge. But when you have fresh limes, why not use them, right? We're going to go one, two, and then one and a half limes here. Okay, so I've got vodka and lime juice in my copper mug. Now, we are going to add in the ginger beer. Um, the right ratio is about four ounces of ginger beer with the two ounces of vodka. Um, I usually just fill up my mug. I think it's probably closer to six ounces. But fill it up. And we're going to garnish it with a lime. So add a little bit more. Stir it up, and that's it. That is a Moscow Mule. Like, that's it. Super basic, um, but absolutely delicious and so refreshing. Mm. It's like tangy and perfect. When you serve it in a copper mug, um, you don't have to. You can serve it in whatever you want. But one, it looks kind of cool, but the mug gets really cold, and so it gives you this feeling that your drink is maybe a little more refreshing than it really is. So that's our Moscow Mule, you guys. Super easy. Ginger beer, vodka, and fresh lime juice mixed together for a super refreshing drink. So I'm going to move this off to the side, and we are going to get started on our copper craft for tonight. All right. So let's move this over. Let's move this over because we can sip on this. Look, my stir stick even has a lime on it. Okay, so our craft. I was at St. Vincent de Paul this week and I was looking for something to do a copper craft with and I came upon this frame. Now this to me looks like one of those calendar frames, maybe um, a laying calendar where you would slide it. There's a little slot in the back here. You would slide the calendar in um, and they make really beautiful calendars. My mom always had one on the hallway wall. Uh, so this looks like one of those. I got it. It was actually, this says 230 on here. It was actually less than that. 
Um, but it's really sturdy. It's not just a cardboard backing. It's a wood backing on this and then a nice wood frame around it. So I thought this would make a beautiful tray for serving drinks. So here's what we're going to do. Just before I came on here, I sanded this down a little bit because the black wood around here has a really high lacquer finish. And so I wanted to sand some of that off. Then we are going to use this. Now there's a link to this down below, but this is an awesome product. This is dry erase contact paper. So it comes in a roll. It's dry erase, meaning you can write messages on here with a dry erase marker um, and then wipe them off. But it's sticky on the back. And so we are going to put that on the bottom of the frame here. And I thought that would be fun because you could take an, a marker and maybe write little messages to your guests or write what you're serving. You could use this for a party, all kinds of different things. So uh, we're going to add that to the bottom first, and then we're going to go ahead and fix up the sides here. Now, if this wasn't live, I would probably do this contact paper last, but I'm not going to sit here live while the paint dries and then wait to put the contact paper on. So we're going to do it now. So we're just going to smooth it across, and I brought my little squeegee from my silhouette to help push this down. And this contact paper is actually uh, removable, so if I ever wanted to change it and do something different with the bottom of the tray, I could just uh, pull it off. All right. Look at that. And so because this was, I believe, a calendar holder, there is, um, there's gaps on the side here. So I should, ooh, it's working. I should be able to just push everything under there. So let me tell you, when you're prepping to do a live video and craft, you think, I really hope that works when I do it live. And this was one of those things that I'm like, I wonder if this is gonna work. But it worked beautifully, look at that. Okay, so honestly, we could leave it like this and we could have a fun, dry erase tray, but our theme tonight is copper. So we are going to turn this into a copper tray. And to do that, I'm gonna move some of our stuff over here and we're gonna have a sip of our mule because it's amazing. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> then we're gonna grab some paper to put underneath it. Oh, look at that. It's an Aldi ad where I got my new favorite ginger beer. How perfect. Okay. So we are going to paint the outside of it. And we are going to use this DecoArt paint. It is um, their Americana line. I really like their paint. I use it for almost all my crafts. And uh, the metallics work really well on wood. They have a really thick, um, vibrant finish. And I find I don't often need too many coats when I'm using this paint. Okay. Shake it up just to be sure. And, oh, that color is gorgeous. Look at that color. Isn't that beautiful? It, it's called copper, um, but it's got a beautiful hue to it. And so I'm just gonna start painting and I'm gonna be really careful I might grab some scrap and just kind of throw it in here so I don't get it on the contact paper. So anytime you're, you're repainting wood, um, especially wood like this, this had a lacquer finish to it, you want to make sure that you sand it down first, clean it first, and then sand it. Uh, especially when something comes from a thrift store or a flea market, you find it on the side of the road, you don't really know where this has been. So I cleaned this real good and um, used a medium grit sandpaper to sand it down. And then after sanding it, I just took a damp cloth and got all of the debris off of it. So we are adding our copper color. All right, so I've got a good story for you about a Moscow mule. And maybe you've heard this before. Maybe you could tell me if it's true or not. But it's just kind of the story I've always heard about a mule. But the story goes that there were, there was a ginger beer maker and a vodka manufacturer. 
and they both wanted more sales. And so they decided to create a drink that would boost the sales for both of their products. Excellent marketing, right? Why not? So they got together and they created the Moscow Mule. And then, being the good marketers that they were, they went to a club or a bar or something like that in Hollywood and got all these A-list people to start drinking it and talking about it. And quickly, vodka skyrocketed to the number one alcohol. And uh, sales were great. So that's a story I've always heard. I don't know if it's true. I think it's a great story. It's a good marketing story, right? And I feel like mules recently have had a reemergence of popularity. I feel kind of retro when you're drinking them. Okay, so how pretty is this looking? Isn't that copper color beautiful? And because this is such a nice quality paint, um, it's almost going to have a metallic look. It's going to look like metal when we're done with it. So I'm just going to keep painting the sides here. And now the wood underneath started out as black. So normally with this paint, when I'm painting bare wood, I do not need to do two coats. But this is not bare wood. So what I think I'm going to do is once this is all completely dry, I'm going to probably add a second coat to it. But even with this, just this first coat, it's looking awesome. All right. So we'll keep painting here. Now I picked this up at St. Vinny's uh, this week, and whenever I go thrift shopping, or really whenever I go shopping, I tend to share that in my Instagram stories. So if you want to go shopping with me sometime, follow me on Instagram. There's a link down in the description, and check out my stories, and you can see where I have been shopping. And I always love your input on what to buy. Okay, one more side here. This is going to be really fun to serve up some mules on. All right, so we have our copper. Now very carefully, I think with a smaller brush, I am going to go and do the inside here. And I'm going to use this to make sure I don't get it on my contact paper. Now, like I said, if I wasn't doing this live, I would probably paint it and let it dry completely and then go back and do um, the contact paper on the bottom. But we're live, so we're going to do it a little different. Now, there are so many things you can use this contact paper for. Think about if you wanted to make like your own board or your own sign, you can just grab a piece of wood and throw this paper on it and boom, you have a sign. Super versatile. Okay, one more side, almost done. Almost done. So in case you missed episode one of Craft in a Cocktail, we did a St. Patrick's theme two weeks ago, and we made a t-shirt with heat transfer vinyl that says Lucky on it, and it's super cute. And if you own an electronic cutting machine like a Silhouette or a Cricut, go check out that video, and there is still time to make your own t-shirt. I am looking forward to wearing mine on Sunday for St. Patrick's Day. Um, so that was episode one. This is episode two, and we do these every two weeks. So we'll be back in a couple weeks with episode three. All right, so I think my copper tray is pretty much done. We took a picture frame, added some copper paint to the sides, and when this dries, I'm going to go over it with one more coat, but even now, I think it looks amazing. I really like this, but super easy, right? We can write, let's see... Drinks on me. And then I can serve up. I mean, you could even make 
like your own mule station on here, right? Look at that. How cute. Um, you could put like all the fixings on this and carry it out. It's got even some nice handles on it here. So super easy to make. So go to a thrift store, see what you can find, or head to your storage area, your basement, see if you can find a frame, and you can so easily turn one into a drinks tray. The link to this contact paper is in the description of the video. So if you have something that you want to turn into a whiteboard, this is how you do it. Super inexpensive, really fun to play around with, and it's removable. So if I ever want to pull this off, I can pull it off. And then all of this erases really easily. But I kind of love it as a drinks tray, and I've got my mule on it. All right, friends. So that is episode two of A Craft and a Cocktail. Our theme tonight was copper, and we made a classic Moscow mule in a copper mug and an upcycled drinks tray from a frame using my favorite copper paint. So I hope you are inspired to go create something. If you're not going to make a frame tonight, go check your liquor cabinet, see if you can make a mule tonight. And um, just so I can share it with you, Aldi, amazing ginger beer. I'm loving it, and it comes in a four-pack. So I will be going back soon to get more. All right, that's it, you guys. Have a fantastic evening and a great weekend. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye.